Hey guys, it's Woody here, or well, and welcome to another Marvel Mingle. And as always, I will be talking all things Marvel. And today's a special edition. I've never had a guest on the show, so we have Zachary here. Hey my guys, favorite cousin. Um, don't tell anybody else that, but um, but yeah. So he's a Marvel fan, right? And we're gonna talk all things Marvel. So there is, there's not too much news. There's once again, some more Spider-Man Homecoming casting news, and there's some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 news. That's a lot, mostly what has been in Marvel news recently, so let's do this. Alright, so, first, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. James Gunn confirmed that they will, in fact, appear at San Diego Comic-Con. So that's great. Yes. So now we have Doctor Strange... And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 at San Diego Comic Con. I think it's going to be cool. I'm making a uh, bet here that we're going to get our first Guardians 2 trailer at Comic Con. Yes, at, at San Diego Comic Con. And uh, I don't know if they're going to drop any more. I feel like they, they might drop some more footage from uh, Doctor Strange there. Probably another trailer, maybe. Who knows, it's been a few months since the last Doctor Strange trailer. But nevertheless, we're probably going to get our, well, I don't know if we will get it, but people at San Diego Comic Con at least will get some sort of footage there from one of the two, if not both. So. And so. we also learned that Karen Gillan, the person who plays Nebula, yes, Nebula and Guardians of the Galaxy wrapped filming, uh, at least her share of the movie, and I've heard that Guardians 2 altogether rap filming, but I haven't really yeah. heard a confirmed source of that. So I don't know if that's confirmed, but I do know that Nebula is done with her part of the Guardians movie so far. And if they're not done yet, they're probably very uh, close. They're probably at the end of the road for filming, and we're probably going to get some uh, like we've been getting some new like set pictures like with the stunt doubles and stuff star lord's outfit kind of looks uh, similar like it did in uh the, the first, first one. one yeah yeah we won't be seeing anything too new with the costumes i think but that's okay because i like their costumes and that yeah but anyway we're probably going to be getting like i said some footage sometime too soon, soon maybe at san diego comic-con who knows? That might not be for us. They might only show that to the people at San Diego Comic Con. We don't know yet. All right, and now on some Spider-Man Homecoming news. Logan Marshall Green has been rumored to cast, uh, be in the cast of Spider-Man Homecoming. He will. He is rumored to be a villain yep. person. Yeah, he's he's in talks with Marvel to play the villain role, and it's still rumored that Michael Keaton is in like advanced talks to play the villain which if he is cast I really think it will be the vulture um but about Logan Marshall Green I don't really know yet I don't know the direction that they'll go in we just keep getting some more and more casting news there's just this huge cast now all of a sudden and yeah so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We don't know if he'll actually join the cast. I really don't know what role he would have, if so. All right, so we moved in here because... The, it started raining. He, well, yeah, and... Like, it started sprinkling. It was dripping above us, yeah. And, uh, but... This is just a better setup in general. We get better sound. But, uh, anyway. Spring my homecoming. Somebody was actually cast, um, confirmed to cast this time, Martin Starr, yet another casting in Spider-Man Homecoming. We don't know what, who he's playing, playing yet, yet, but he starred in Silicon Valley. Well, I can't wait to see Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, me, me too. Like, with all the actors that are good actors in it. Yeah, I mean, it's... There's a lot, a lot of actors so far that are in it. And lots of castings. Only a few have we know who's playing who. So obviously Iron Man, we know Iron Man who he is. Mm -hmm. He since he's in the movie, and uh, Aunt May, um, 
Spider-Man himself, Peter Parker, Zendaya. She said yes. they said that she's playing somebody named Michelle. So Michelle we don't, we, Zendaya. We Whoa. really, <laughs> we really don't <laughs> know who that is yet. And they've only like revealed like, oh, this person's playing this like a few times. So. Zendaya could just be playing like a school yeah, like a character school or character. like a love interest. I feel like the less centered around characters, I feel like that they've said those names already. Like Zendaya, I think she will be a less, she might be a minor character, a supporting role. Not like in every other movie where she's a bigger role. She might just be like a one of those small roles instead of a big role. Yeah, and because she is on the big screen, she's always a like a big a starring character in her Disney Channel stuff. Um, she might, since this is the the big screen, she might be uh, a minor character, but um, but she does have the potential to be a big character anyway. But I feel like all the people that they have names of are like people who will probably be high schoolers walking around that you'll see throughout the movie. But people I feel like who haven't had their names said yet are going to be bigger characters. So, Michael Barbier, we don't know who he's playing. They said that he's probably going to play Peter Parker's best friend. Um, we don't know that for sure yet. Michael Keaton, if he does join, he's probably going to end up being the Vulture. And now Martin Starr, and uh, if Logan Marshall Green joins, I mean, who knows, because they said that Michael Keaton's going to be a villain if he joins on and then they said that he uh, is in talks to play the villain role Logan Marshall Green and so I don't know there could be two different villains uh, maybe he could be the vulture and Michael Keaton could be the tinker I don't know people are saying that there would be the tinker and the vulture we we really don't know yet it's kind of all because we haven't seen it so yeah we don't really know. I mean we got all these loads of information but we really don't know much. All we can make is assumptions and predictions, and that is what we are here to do. So, on to the next thing. And take a look at this little um, Doctor Strange figure, Funko Pop. Uh, he was revealed to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because they revealed their wave two and three of uh, Comic-Con exclusives because if you know San Diego Comic-Con, they always have exclusives there, so. That's a cool figure. It's a shame that we won't get one of our own to have in stores, but that is a yeah. really cool thing to have. I only have a few Funko Pops. I have the Iron Man uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Funko Pop that I actually got from a Pop Tart box. You can, <laughs> if you if you collect enough, you can get codes and you can get like a free, um, iron, you can get a free Iron Man or Captain America one, but. Um, I didn't have time. I I lost track of time. I couldn't get the Captain America one, which I'm still sad about. But um, I also have the Black Widow uh, with Captain America's shield from Age of Ultron, the, uh, the GameStop exclusive. So either way, this is a pretty cool figure. What do you think? Yeah, I I think it's pretty cool and amazing. Yeah. I wish I had one. So mystical. Doctor Strange, do the Doctor Strange move. I wish I had one. I don't know if I'm doing Scarlet Witch, more of a Scarlet Witch. I think Witch. you're doing Scarlet Witch. This is more Witch. Scarlet Witch. Just Witch. Like, and Doctor Strange is like... That's, that's Scarlet Witch too. It's like, I'm so confused. Yeah, I know. Is it, is it Doctor Scar Strange or like, Scarlet Witch? Oh. My gosh. She's playing with your mind. You're thinking... <laughs> You're thinking of what we're going to discuss next in the discussion topic. <gasps> Welcome to the discussion topic. This topic, we will be talking about how cool it would be for old and new Marvel heroes to cross over. And, yeah, and we're going to give some examples, like some lineups. So, first one we were thinking of, whenever, whenever we were doing this thing, <laughs> uh, the Doctor Strange movie gave me an idea. How cool... What will it be? And I hope this will happen in Infinity War. When Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange meet for the first time. 
And think about how cool it would be when they combine their powers. Or when they use if their they powers combine. Com- combine. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, Scarlet Witch has that mind manipulation, and Doctor Strange can, like, open portals to, like, different realms, and he can, like, with, he, if they he's just, He's probably like, gonna have one of the Infinity Stones in, in his own movie, so... And I mean, if we just put, like, them together, they could have, like, you, who knows what they could do, like... Yeah. They might but betray be, the other kids. I mean, I mean people. No, they wouldn't betray, I but... I mean, I mean that's it'd be what unlucky I would think. for the villains. Yeah. Know, that's all I say. And, uh... Because, like... Because, like... If Scarlet Witch could, like, was, like, fighting a villain, he, she, and she had the powers to open, like, a por- portal to other realms, she could, like, be controlling its mind to walk into the portal well, and go to a different well, I guess. realm and then close it. Yeah. I would think that'd, that'd be, be cool. pretty cool. Scarlet Witch should just get into the mind of people, of every villain she goes to, and just tell them, just make them stop. She's so overpowered, though. Like, can't she just, like, go to every villain? Obviously, that won't happen in the movies because, you know, logic, I guess, but, um, for the sake of the plot. But, I mean, wouldn't that be awesome, though? Like, she just goes into the mind of somebody and tells them to stop. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But she can't really, like, full-on control people. She just gives them, like, nightmares. But, like, with Captain America and Age of Ultron, like, when she was controlling his mind, he was walking around in his nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, you, like, walk around in, like, what you fear the most. Yeah, like, she could open the portal somewhere if she had that power, and he could be walking towards that direction and just, like, go in it. Yeah. I think it'll also be cool if we get to see Groot and Hulk meet up. Yes, that would be... I am Groot, Hulk smash. Like, them just trying to have a conversation (laughs) with each other. I am Groot. But I think Hulk would kind of um, rip apart, or at least try to rip apart Groot and somewhat succeed, almost. But Groot would, like, form, like, a tree around him or something, like... (laughs) (laughs) That'd be cool. Like this. Form this around, around Hulk. Him. I mean. Like, say Hulk. Form <laughs> this. Oh, oh, yeah. And then it'd be bad. Yeah. But hopefully they'd be working together. They'd yes. be really awesome working together. And who else? When you say like one more, you know what I think? Vision and Drax the Destroyer. Yes. Like, Drax is so literate and stuff, and then Vision, like, I don't know. For some reason, I could see them having an, a pretty interesting, um... Meet. Meet, up. And discussions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who do you think? You got any more? Nope. I think we said of all. That'd be just really cool. I'm really excited to see, hopefully in Infinity War, um, we already know that some Guardians will cross over with some of the Avengers, and I'll be really cool. We are excited, but we are reaching an ending point. So, thank you for tuning into this Marvel Mingle. There was not much uh, discussion, big news this week, yes. but I'm sure in the next few weeks there will be more. So, without further ado, thank you, Zachary, for uh, helping me here. And I'll see you guys later. Please leave some suggestions for uh, this next week's discussion topic in the comments below. Bye, guys. So, update. Um, <laughs> Zach, you look miserable right now because he's really tired. But, update. I need um, water. There has, uh, so sorry for the late upload, but there's been so much news and we can't, don't have the time to cover it all. It's very late. It's like 1.40 at night. Um, in the morning, actually. Well, in the morning, yeah. And I was trying to uh, get all this stuff ready. And all the news that we didn't do will be provided in next week's Marvel Mingle. So be tuned in for that. We got the synopsis for Doctor Strange and all that stuff. So, see you guys later. Oh, we got some Spider-Man Homecoming set pictures. So, bye, guys. Aunt, what? Didn't you say that Spider-Man Homecoming was going to start, like, recording? Yeah, that's what I said. They're going to start filming Spider-Man Homecoming. See you guys later.